Andrew's just uh, roughing the wheels up, ready for painting. All the black and the lack is done, it's looking extra shiny. Just needs unwrapping. Wheels finishing and putting back on. All the exhaust system needs to go back on. It's kind of lay all over the workshop in various different places. Getting dirty and lost. The handles need to go on, the mirrors are laid to go on, the top headlights need to go on. And then obviously the back wheels need to go on once we've done it. It's all black. I was going to time lapse Sam unwrapping the fence, but he started before I had a chance. So you're just going to have to get a little bit of a video of the big unveiling. Should have cleaned the windows, shouldn't we, first? <laughs> we now have a sparkling tractor with dull windows. Looks all right, doesn't it? Looks proper shiny. What do you call a baby horse? It's a foal, isn't it? There you go. Black beauty foal. Can't walk yet, you see, it's not got wheels. Got a wheel going into the workshop now for prep. Just need to sort these wheel weights out. Might pick them up today if they don't drop them off. Then we can get them ready as well. Just come to have a look at Robin's tractor while it's a bit better daylight in here now. And I'm amazed because when I was a kid, these were massive. You know, it was called a Maxim, you know, which, is, which suggests it's huge. And it, it's tiny compared to what I remember them as. It's been, and I just never realised, a 1455 always looked big, but I just didn't realise how much bigger it actually did look. We need to park them next to each other. It, it's, it, obviously, it was a big tractor when you're six or ten, but they've... The Diddy. I think he should have got the Magnum, but it's what he wanted. It's, uh, it's, it's proper handy size. Oh, you can see, I think at one point, they were the best selling tractor that, that Case made. I think they sold something like 40,000 of them. And I can see why, because it obviously had quite a little bit of horsepower for its size. I think it's a six cylinder engine, but it's not ridiculously long. Quite no fuss sort of gearbox, you know. Four power shifts, forwards and reverse was clutchless. When they first came out, forwards and reverse was not clutchless though. So. They, they, they modified most of them that went out to put, put a, a neutral in the closed reverser. Obviously the stickers have come off the bonnet, bit of heat damage, I think he's ordered them anyway. So with them on and a good polish, you might have to do something about these bits here. Because it looks a bit, a bit scabby literally. The, the exhaust I think will look far better on the MB track if you ask me. And maybe you should get a stainless one for this and then I can have that one on the MB track. But it's fairly straight, it's not rotten. There's just like I say, a little bit of blisters and bits of scab on the paint. And then, yeah, if I was him, I'd put the original lights back in it because I think, I think it had a work light in here maybe, and then indicators in there. Um, he obviously needs to find a top link for it. The cab inside is fairly, fairly tidy. Seat, maybe you'd put a new cover on the seat perhaps, or reupholster it, but there's nothing hanging off like, you know, the, the older models, the headlining used to fall out with them and bits used to fall off here same with the John Deere's really but but this one's pretty pretty tidy um, he's obviously got the the jury sticking bits here for the forwards and reverser and I think someone messaged yesterday and said there's a relay that used to fall out the dashboard in there one but you've got hand throttle there falls up and down you've got two spill valves PTO in and out some hydraulic controls creep speed gearbox there and then you've got four ranges and then four power shifts in each range which is clutchless so you just go up the gears and you just keep pushing it forwards orange throttle so you can't lose it again the cab feels quite small to be honest to what i can remember i always thought they had a big cab but i don't know i suppose it would be big if you ate Got the windows on the side so you can hear it i think it's had a hedge cut because there's a bracket there yeah, that's been for a guard, stop stuff hitting the windscreen and the side windows. Air conditioning as well, digital dashboard. There you go. So they used to put that dash in all of them, really. That's what it sounds like. Hmm, doesn't want to start. It's probably because he's got the joystick in bits. Anyway, he's going to have a play with it, I think, tomorrow. It says it's done 1500 hours. I think it's done more than that. But 
should be interesting to see how well it tidies up. Yeah, it's definitely on a head cut because there's another bracket there. I think they probably have the levers on there for it. But he's uh, not VAT registered, so he didn't want to spend a lot on one because obviously he'd lose the VAT. So he uh, bought one that he can he can do up, and then he's not lost wasting money. If you think cow muck, pig muck, chicken muck smells, it's nothing compared to grass clippings off a football training ground. It absolutely hums because they cut the grass every day. It's like sherbet and rots really quick. It also gets quite a lot of fertilizer, so it doesn't half give off some ammonia and it's rotting. So we're just emptying that out now on the training ground. That's one done. See the concrete steaming. Go around, so there's one over there, one over there, one over there. There's like four. That plastic fence looks good because it'll never need painting. flat is that Andrew's just off now to tip that in the muck heap on the fast track Let's mint that trailer I'm just on my way back from Everton now so remember this field of wheat last year that we were cutting before it rained well now it is got a couple of roads in it a couple of sewers continuation ponds yeah it's definitely taking shape as a housing estate We've missed a bit. I got a new printer last week and already it's doing something stupid. It won't turn off and it won't turn on and it's just flashing at me. So annoying. I don't like printers or computers. Just sorting out what pictures might make the calendar and trying to get them in the right order. So we've got some on the screen and I've got some here. I'm trying to make it so that there's not like Two pictures of fast track next to each other, two pictures of Bateman next to each other, but also they fit the seasons that they were taking in. And it's taken a lot longer than I thought it would. I got this in the post the other day off a guy that came to Sunflower Maze wearing a t shirt with me on it. And um, yeah, thanks for that. He's in the video for day 509 if you wanted to check out who actually sent it. A little bit concerned though, there's quite a few hearts and different things within the. Within the um, the envelopes i don't know whether that are they're off him or his wife and kids having a joke maybe leave a comment if you're watching that's just pushing up with double chip andrew's just loading with the other merlo the 600 horsepower cat engine pairing away the steam because it's cold atmosphere just bidding on that big case in the auction but it's got like 40 minutes left I don't think it's probably going to go for too much, but I've thrown a bit on it anyway, so we'll see what happens. Just looking at the tracks on the combine, which are basically the same as the ones that was on that big class yesterday. The only real difference was is they just increased the size of this back idler. And I'm, I don't really know why. I suppose it made them, if you, if you had the same rubber band, if you will, and you put the pulley bigger, you could then reduce the length. And if you reduce the length, it probably made it easy to turn, because obviously it turned with the front, front axle as well. But... That tractor was nearly 450 horsepower, which is colossal really, yet in the same size frame as like a 936 kind of tractor. So, good thing, and also them tracks are well proven. It's also got four-wheeled suspension, so if you imagine it's got cab suspension, front axle suspension, and then suspension on the tracks. So apparently on the road it's really smooth, which is expected to be rough because you think it bounce, but to be fair, this doesn't bounce. And also any potholes, it goes straight over the top of them. So that'd obviously do the same thing. So big, big high horsepower tractor. Some of the cab now has been unwrapped, but we've got like a little bit of a shadow here where a bit of lacquer has crept through. So we're gonna to have to either rub it off with, oh, it'll come off with my nail actually, or a scraper or maybe thinners. But it's taking shape. Sam's also, there's little bits that you can, if you pull the seal back, you can get in. So he's gonna go along with a paintbrush and just get them little bits. So it's completely, completely green. But yeah, it looks well. Just need to polish it all off now. It's just full of dust. There's 15 minutes to go, and I'm still winning that case. But someone's going to bid in the last 15 minutes. I know they are, and I, I'm like pacing up and down because I don't know what to do. Because I don't really want to increase my maximum bid because it's just more than I can afford. But um, I hate auctions. And also, if someone bids within the last five minutes, then it adds another five minutes onto the auction time. So it could, the auction might not end for days. I don't know. But um, fingers crossed anyway that whoever was bidding against me has now given up. We'll see what happens. 
And I've just realized, I thought I need to be in Skipton for half seven, but I need to be in Skipton to half six. So really, I better go and get a shower and get ready. While I'm waiting for the auction to end, I may as well do the birthday shout out. So if, your birth, if it's your birthday today, your name may be up there if someone sent it in for you. So Kieran, Tommy, Jonathan, AJ, Will, happy birthday to you all you guys. So I'm just peeling the rubber back now. I'm just getting the little bits that may have been missed underneath the masking. But I think it looks amazing. And it look even better when it's clean, polished. These are done and put back on as well. Where's the wheel weights though, Gary? I thought you said you'd drop them off. I'm not really sure how it works, but according to the iBidder, the winning bid was the one that I put in, but it's not said you have won, and I've not seen any emails to say I've won, but I might have won a case tractor on an auction. So um, we have to watch this space and see if we get anything. Anyway, I've got to shoot out to this farmer's talk now, so bye for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. And here's a picture of the shortlist of the, um, the tractor calendar. So I think I've put them in the right order for the months, but see what you think. And uh, I'll put a little picture of the case on as well. So I'll see you tomorrow.